Hi, it's Katrina. From fish that might bite your face off to the most specialized teeth in the animal kingdom, here are 11 animals with terrifying teeth. Number 11. Titan Triggerfish These fish have teeth and big puffy lips that almost look human. The large triggerfish species, known as the Titan Triggerfish, is found in lagoons throughout the Indo-Pacific region. This seemingly harmless fish is highly territorial and quick to become aggressive, and it doesn't always need a reason to act. That's where trigger comes in, but also because they have a dorsal spine that can lock into place to anchor the fish into a crevice. Once the locking mechanism is triggered, it is almost impossible to get the fish out. There are numerous reports of triggerfish attacking divers without being provoked in any obvious way, and they are capable of inflicting some pretty serious injuries that often require medical attention. Take for example, resort manager Birgit Biggs Eggert, who required stitches to her upper lip as well as plastic surgery after a titan triggerfish charged at her face seemingly out of nowhere, biting off a sizable chunk of lip, muscle, and nerves. It takes one look at the creature's mouth to understand how the fish can be so destructive. They can grow up to 30 inches long and are equipped with a mouthful of sharp, strong, and almost human-like teeth. Depending on the species, their teeth range in color from red to yellow. While they have very small mouths, they have powerful jaws with not just one row of teeth, but several. Why do they need such an overkill bite? They usually eat crustaceans and mollusks, so they need to be able to break through those tough shells. People sometimes keep these fish in aquariums because of their beautiful coloring. Just be careful if you are hand feeding. They have a lot of personality, but can also be quite the challenge. In the wild, divers like to go where they live, so be careful and make sure you know who's watching you while you are checking out the reefs. Number 10. Dromedary Camel Some of the scariest animal teeth actually belong to herbivores. They have to be able to crush their food and also have a big bite to defend themselves. The dromedary camel is an example with teeth that can grow more than three inches long. And they aren't just for show. Although the species adheres to a vegetarian diet of dry grasses and vegetation, there are reports of dromedary camels turning on their owners. When camels attack, owners can sometimes even die. Their jaws are powerful enough to crush human bone. And for this reason, fatal bites are known to occur. In 2016, a camel owner in Rajasthan, India paid with his life for leaving the animal tied up in the sweltering heat all day long. Upon realizing that he had forgotten about the camel, he went back to release it, and the understandably angry creature became aggressive and attacked the man. You could kind of say it was revenge. A disturbed witness told the Times of India, the animal lifted him by the neck and threw him on the ground, chewed the body, and severed the head. It wasn't the first time that particular camel attacked its owner. In a previous incident, around 25 people reportedly had to work together to restrain the animal, and it took them around six hours to get the camel under control. While camels are typically gentle, they are known to become aggressive in the heat. Male camels also have a tendency to sometimes become aggressive. Generally speaking, however, camels and humans seem to usually get along just fine, as they have been domesticated for a very long time. Have you ever ridden a camel? Let me know in the comments below. I never have, but it looks fun. I'll just try to remember to stay away from its mouth. Number 9. Leatherback Sea Turtle Who knew that a sea turtle would have such a scary mouth? The leatherback sea turtle is the world's third largest living reptile and the largest turtle. They can get up to 7 feet long and weigh up to 2,000 pounds. The leatherback sea turtle's mouth is filled with hundreds of spiky, backward-facing teeth called papillae, which resemble stalactites. These terrifying-looking structures go all the way from its mouth, extending down to its esophagus and then to the stomach. The papillae have a deceptively vicious appearance that make the creature's mouth appear as if it's built to shred prey. But leatherback sea turtles exclusively prefer jellyfish. And the pointy, quote-unquote, teeth, along with an elongated esophagus that wraps around the turtle's stomach, help to prevent dinner from escaping. Once something gets stuck going in, it's stuck for good. No way a jellyfish is getting out of this one. These turtles are one of the few animals that can help keep jellyfish populations in check. Unfortunately, sea turtles have a hard time telling the difference between jellyfish and plastic bags, making plastic ingestion a serious problem for leatherback sea turtles. Number 8. Saber-toothed deer 
Here's a cute little critter straight out of a Disney movie, but it has fangs. What happened? There are seven known species from the musk deer family, native to Russia and Asia, but some countries import them for hunting. Despite being called deer, these creatures are technically not deer because they lack antlers. But the most obvious and perhaps creepiest thing about them is that they have strangely out of place looking teeth with males possessing two huge protruding fangs that jet out from their upper jaw. Why though? Although musk deer certainly look like they can do some damage with their teeth, these animals are herbivores. They use their fangs to deter, warn, and compete with rivals during mating season. Male musk deer are also known for the distinctive smelling substance they emit from a special gland near their hindquarters, which acts as an aphrodisiac during mating season. Oddly, humans also seem to enjoy this odor, as evidenced by the poaching problem that threatens musk deer populations, which have been hunted to incredibly low numbers. The scent glands are used for manufacturing perfume and in traditional medicine. Musk deer live solitary lives, for the most part, in remote and rocky habitats, and while they may look like a vampire, you don't have anything to fear. Number 7. Strap-toothed Whale from a distance, or at first glance, the strap-toothed whale looks like an ordinary cetacean, but a closer look will reveal that adult male specimens possess two long backward and inward curling tusks, which extend over the upper jaw and more or less almost wire its mouth shut. They can only open their mouths by a few inches at most, and scientists admittedly do not know how they are even able to eat with this seemingly prohibitive anatomical arrangement. In fact, experts know very little about the species, period. Strap-toothed whales are distributed throughout cold, temperate waters in the southern hemisphere and are known to strand themselves along beaches in South Africa, Australia, Tasmania, New Zealand, Uruguay, and the Falkland Islands. But they are difficult to approach, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. As one of the 21 known beaked whale species, they spend much of their time deep diving in search of food, and it's therefore really rare for humans to spot them. Based on what little exploration into the species has been done, it's known that they eat squid, but a tusked specimen has never been observed eating, so for now, the mystery of how it eats remains just that. Number 6. Gelada The gelada, also known as the bleeding heart monkey and the gelada baboon, lives in the mountains of Ethiopia and is the only surviving member of its genus. Despite being grass eaters, these primates possess teeth that look capable of committing an outright massacre. They bear their enormous canine teeth through a behavior called a gum-bearing yawn. The practice is most common among high-ranking males, who pull back their upper lip to expose their fearsome fangs, and is often accompanied by a loud call, which researchers believe is a long-distance display, according to BBC Earth's Deadly 60 program. Gum-bearing yawns are thought to be used during tense moments, including right before feeding, suggesting that the behavior is perhaps meant to intimidate other geladas. Females also exhibit yawning displays, but they are used during friendly exchanges. Researchers believe that these behaviors, however alarming they may seem to us humans, may be a complex form of communication meant to deepen the emotional connection between female geladas, or a way for the ladies to express their friendship to one another. Number 5. Geese In recent years, alarming images of duckbills lined with lots of small, somewhat sharp-looking teeth have circulated on the internet, going viral and sparking widespread shock. They are actually goosebills. These tiny structures that line the interior of goosebills are not exactly teeth, although they serve similar purposes, and are used for things like shredding vegetation and prey. They are made from a bone-hard type of cartilage called tomium, and they grow straight from the beak itself, making them slightly different from actual teeth. The protrusions also lack enamel. In addition to beak teeth, geese also have tongue teeth, which are equally scary looking and are also made from tomium. While the fact that these structures made from cartilage may make the so-called teeth seem less intimidating, they are no less capable of damage than the real thing. As writer Drew Haynes said in a Just Birding article, a goose bite can easily draw blood. And as many people who have had unfortunate encounters with these creatures know, geese are extremely territorial, and they become even more aggressive during mating season, meaning they won't hesitate to chomp down on an offending party. Anyone ever been chased by a goose? They're pretty scary, right? Experts believe that ancient, long-extinct birds may have had teeth, leaving their descendants with the tooth-like formations that we see today. 
Number 4. Crab Eater Seal The Crab Eater Seal has a mouthful of teeth that look like buzz saws, or like teeth with lots of tiny additional teeth protruding from them. By the looks of these teeth, as well as the animal's name, it's a fair guess to say that they are shredding some pretty tough crab shells to bits. But crab eater seals surprisingly do not eat crabs. Their frightening chompers are adapted for eating microscopic Antarctic krill, acting like a sieve. When a crab eater seal gulps up a mouthful of water and food, the teeth filter out the krill from the water almost like a strainer. Then the animal swallows whatever is left. The structure works similarly to the baleen of krill-eating whales. This feeding method seems to work very well for crab-eater seals, which are considered one of the planet's most abundant mammal species and the most populous type of seal. It seems like no coincidence that the species' teeth are widely regarded as the most specialized in the animal kingdom. Number 3. Babirusa The four known species of babirusas, also called deer pigs, are native to an area called Wallacea which encompasses the remote forested Indonesian islands of Sulawesi, Togian, Sula, and Buru. Scientists' knowledge of this enigmatic species, which evolved in isolation, is limited. They do know that babirusas live in large herds, primarily in protected areas. Until 2002, researchers classified them into one species, but they now believe that there are four. The most well-known among them, B. celebensis, lives in Sulawesi, has the characteristically huge tusks, and has very short, fine hair, giving it a naked appearance. These ancient-looking creatures are some of the most bizarre members of the animal kingdom, primarily because of a pair of inward-facing, skin-piercing, curled tusks that males have. The tusks are two upper canine teeth, which actually penetrate up through the snout and curve toward the animal's forehead, making the babirusa the only mammal with vertically growing canines. Its lower canines also grow upward, Sometimes they get so long they can curl over and start poking the top of their head. One of the biggest mysteries about the babirusa is the unknown purpose of its strange tusks. Some, but not all scientists, believe that they are meant to protect the animal from the tusks of other male babirusas. Others disagree, including Darren Naish of Tetrapod Zoology, who noticed that male babirusas box with their hooves rather than by hooking tusks or butting heads. It's possible that the tusks are used for mating, possibly as a sign of genetic fitness to potential mates. But the plain and simple truth is that nobody truly knows what they're for. Number 2. Narwhal While discussing narwhal teeth in a Smithsonian interview, one dental expert named Martin Nuia summed up his thoughts with this statement, Nothing makes sense. That's because narwhals have no teeth inside their mouths. Their only visible tooth is the so-called horn protruding from their heads that the creatures are so well known for. This spiraled tusk can grow up to 9 feet long, and its purpose is unknown. It's one of two horizontally positioned canine teeth that a narwhal has. The left tooth is generally the one that grows into a tusk, erupting through the animal's upper lip. Usually, the right canine tooth remains embedded in a narwhal's skull and measures no more than a foot long. Males and females both have two tusks but they usually only erupt in males, and it's very rare for both tusks to appear. Narwhals also have a handful of vestigial, in other words, useless teeth, that are located in open sockets near the tusk. These teeth are evidence of a process called evolutionary obsolescence, meaning they lost their use over time and therefore do not even develop into useful body parts. With the amount of energy that it takes to produce that one tusk, it could easily have 30 to 40 teeth in its mouth doing other things, Nuia said. Despite having no teeth of practical value, narwhals eat large fish. They simply swallow them whole instead of chewing. In 2017, drone footage of a narwhal using its tusk to stun Arctic cod partially solved the mystery of how these creatures use this strange elongated tooth. But researchers believe the animals may have other uses for their tusks and are still trying to determine what they might be. Number 1. Naked Mole Rat This little guy is just creepy and ugly. Poor thing, can't help it. The burrowing rodent known as the Naked Mole Rat lives its entire life underground, meaning it's rarely seen by humans. But anyone lucky enough, or unfortunate enough, depending on how you look at it, to catch a glimpse of one of these homely, nearly hairless creatures probably notices its large buck teeth before anything else. These four teeth, two upper and two lower, function independently, with the specimen capable of controlling and moving one at a time. 
The naked mole rat's teeth are powered by the animal's strong jaws, which account for an astounding 25% of its muscle mass. But this is not the only shocking characteristic about the creatures, which boast several unique traits. For example, naked mole rats are one of just two mammal species that live in eusocial colonies, which are highly organized, complex societies that engage in group decision-making and reproductive division of labor, meaning that not all members procreate and cooperative care of offspring. Colonies revolve around a queen, a role which females compete for by fighting one another to the death, using their enormous teeth to puncture their opponent's lungs and other vital organs. Despite this fatal fighting, naked mole rats often live into their 30s, making them especially unique among small rodents, who generally do not live more than a few years at most. Thanks for watching! Makes your teeth feel pretty awesome right now, doesn't it? Be sure to take care of your chompers! What were your favorite animal teeth? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!